What if Apple's most important new device this year isn't an iPhone, not a watch, not even Vision Pro? It's a tablet so advanced, it's quietly testing the future of every Apple product to come. Before watching, please don't forget to subscribe to Smart Review, so you can get notified on daily tech updates. Apple has always had a pattern deboot its most powerful chip in the Mac. But with the M5 iPad Pro, that rule is being rewritten, because this isn't just an upgrade, it's a statement. The M5 chip built on TSMC's next Gen N3 P Therm process will make its world premiere inside the iPad Pro, continuing Apple's bold trend of using tablets as their first proving ground for revolutionary tech. After all, the M4 debuted in the iPad Pro first, so why wouldn't the M5 follow suit? And now, fresh reports from supply chains and internal testers suggest that the M5 iPad Pro is launching in October 2025, not September giving Apple time to refine what could be the most intelligent, versatile tablet ever made. At its core, the MAME 5 promises a 10-15% performance jump over the M4, with even greater gains in AI efficiency thanks to a next-generation neural engine optimized for on-device machine learning. That means faster photo editing, real-time AR rendering, and smoother multitasking under iPOS 26 new AI-powered features like predictive text, live scene analysis and voice, to summary tools. But raw power is only part of the story. The real headline. Dual front facing cameras, one in portrait, one in landscape, solving a long standing frustration for hybrid users who switch between modes. No more awkwardly tilting your iPad during FaceTime calls just to stay centered. Whether docked on a magic keyboard or held vertically for sketching, the iPad Pro will always have a perfectly positioned camera. This isn't just convenience, it's user centric design at its finest. Visually, expect minimal changes. The stunning tandem OLED display, with its deep blacks, infinite contrast, and 1000 nits peak brightness, will remain the rumors suggest Apple is already working on a slimmer, bizzle redesign for 2026, possibly eliminating the notch entirely. For now the focus is on function, not form. But behind the scenes something much bigger is happening Apple is turning the iPad Pro into its innovation lab. Evidence, a surge in leaked accessories and firmware hunts suggesting MagSafe, style magnetic charging, not through USB-C, but via pin connectors on the back, similar to how the Magic Keyboard charges. Third-party brands like Kyuxu already offer this, but Apple appears ready to bring it in-house. Imagine snapping a magnetic battery pack, stand, or charger onto your iPad, no cables, no ports, just seamless connection. Even more exciting, early signs point to reverse wireless charging. Yes, the iPad Pro could become a portable power bank for your iPhone, AirPods, or Apple Watch. With a large battery and improved thermal management, it's technically feasible. And given Apple's push toward ecosystem synergy, this could be the start of a truly wireless future. Beyond the iPad, the M5 Mac Mini is expected later this year, likely starting with an M5 Pro model's internal codename J873, while the base version may be delayed to extend M4 stock. The M5 iMac's codename J833 will likely follow, another spec bump with no design overhaul, but the M5 MacBook Pro, that's been pushed to early 2026 according to Mark Gurman, meaning the iPad Pro once again gets Apple's newest silicon first. The big leap, an OLED MacBook with a redesigned chassis, won't arrive until 2027 with the M6. Then there's Apple Vision Pro 2, still running on a 3-year-old M2 chip, the 3 Dell's 500 headset is overdue for an upgrade. The M5 could finally bring it up to speed, delivering smoother spatial computing, better app performance, and longer battery life all for mainstream adoption. Mass production is rumored for Q3 2025 with a late 2025 or early 2026 release. Pricing may drop slightly, but don't expect a budget model yet. On the display side, the Studio Display 2 is finally coming, likely in 2026, with mini LED backlighting for higher brightness and contrast. While the 60H refresh rate may remain, some leaks hint at a 90 axe panel though that's unconfirmed. More importantly, Apple is reportedly working on a home hub's codename J492, a smart display with a 67-inch screen powered by an A18 chip, designed to control HomeKit devices run FaceTime and support Apple intelligence. Delayed due to Siri upgrades, it's now expected in H1 2026, and the HomePod Mini 2, likely arriving late 2025, it will feature a new Wi-Fi 6E Bluetooth chip, improved audio, and possibly the second, Gen Ultra Wideband chip for better Find My Tracking. After five years, it's time. So what's the takeaway? Apple isn't just updating products. They're rethinking their entire rollout strategy. The iPad Pro is no longer just a tablet. It's Apple's flagship testbed, where new chips, charging methods, AI features, and design philosophies deboot before trickling down to Macs and iPhones. And with the M5 iPad Pro leading the charge, we're not just getting a new device. We're seeing the blueprint for Apple's next era. One where hardware fades into the background and intelligence takes center stage.